23 years ago, Kudira Sabiola was assassinated. And today, this political activist are here to celebrate the icon. An icon who believes that an electoral mandate given to her husband during the June 12, 1993 election could not be easily set aside. When we remember Kujira was a runaway, we are you. The procession starts at her home. To where she was later arrested 23 years ago. The promise made by the federal government is a welcome development. You know, the government actually took the first step, which is an important step. You know, she's going to be put in the Hall of Fame as the martyr of Nigeria's democracy, which is why she died. She died in defense of Nigeria's democracy. So I think it's a very big step. But that's not enough. We need Kudira Sabiola to be immortalized through the naming of a national monument. After Sabiola Castello believes the greatest honor her mother deserves is to have more women represented in politics. I think that the greatest monument to a woman that has died is to choose all these women that are alive and present, put them in cabinets all over Nigeria. Let every cabinet have 50% women, our strong women who are principled, who will fight for the poor, who will fight for the unemployed, who will fight for other women. Put them in positions of authority. Let the president set this example with his own cabinet that he will announce soon. Kudirata Biola was born in Zaria in 1951. She got married to Moshuda Biola at the age of 21. She was assassinated on the 4th of June 1996 while her husband was in detention for demanding the actualization of his mandate. Victoria Idowu, Channels Television News.